Once an account has been created for Excite Reading, students and educators can easily log in through the Launchpad site. To log in to Excite Reading, teachers and students will visit the same link. This link should be bookmarked for students on both school and personal devices if possible so that they can easily access it. If your school is integrated through Clever, just select the Clever icon and enter your username and password or scan your Clever badge if you are a student and have one from your teacher. If your school is not integrated through Clever, teachers can log in with a username and password. Students can log in by clicking enter a class code and entering their six digit class code provided by the teacher. Then students find their name and avatar and click it. Finally, students will enter their three digit pin provided by the teacher. Excite Reading is an easy way to incorporate independent reading time for your students. When students are logged into Excite Reading, they will see up to three categories on their dashboard. The first is from your teacher, which includes books assigned to students by teachers. The second category is My Bookshelf, which includes books that they have opened and self-selected. Further down, they have All Books. They have a few categories there to choose from, and then they're also able to see our entire Excite Reading Library. You may notice some icons in a child's book. Each has a distinct meaning. The open bookmark icon means that this book has been opened and is in the process of being read. A checkmark icon means that this book has been completed. Students can click into any story and begin reading. When students click into the book, they will click on the play icon in the middle of the screen to hear the narration. Itty Bitty Kitty by Joan Holub, illustrated by James Burks. The next button begins to pulse so students know to click onto the next page. Mom, Dad, can I get a cat? Asked Ava. Pretty, pretty, pleasy, wheezy, I'll take good care of it with sugar on top. As you see, our books are read by professional narrators. Each sentence is highlighted along with each word being highlighted as it's read. On the bottom of the screen, you will notice some different icons for the students. Starting in the bottom right, students have the settings icon where they can adjust the playback speed or adjust the word highlighting to be word and sentence, word only, or sentence only. Moving to the left, students can make their book full screen. Furthermore, students have the pause and play button. Continuing to the left, students can adjust the volume, although this can be done on the device itself. And finally, when they are done with the book or time is up for reading, they can select the home icon in the bottom left-hand corner and be returned to their original bookshelf. Excite Reading has a flexible implementation that allows you to use it however it fits best into your routines. For independent reading, students can either self-select titles to listen to and enjoy, or read books that have been assigned to them. Students are encouraged to independently listen to a book for about 10 minutes a day. Excite Reading can also be utilized during whole group and small group instruction. You can find lessons and book guides under the Lessons tab for different grade levels. Each lesson has three books and corresponding book guides. Book guides are a helpful starting point for questions, prompts, and vocabulary words to teach. After reviewing the book guide, you can project the book to the class and read aloud or allow the narration to play. Pause the story when appropriate to ask your questions and prompts and to point out and reinforce vocabulary words. Students have access to Excite Reading 24-7, 365. So encourage them to read at home. Students can listen independently or with family members. At the bottom of each book guide, there are family connections and activities to support families and caregivers at home. It may be assigned from three places. The books tab on the tile for each book. The book details page after clicking on a tile in the books tab or from a book guide. In each of these cases, the process is the same. Click on the plus sign and assign or assign this button. 
Then select the children who should receive the book. If you select an entire class, all students enrolled in that group will be checked off and will receive the book when you click the purple assign button. Your assignment has been sent and you can either view the assignment or close the pop-up window. Under the Assignments tab, you are able to see all of the assignments that you have sent to your students. You can see each book, the student, book starts, book completions, and the date that it was sent. Some books have assessments embedded within. To see how a student is doing, you will click on the reporting tab. You're able to see all of your students here and how they are doing with each of their books. If you click into a student's name, you're then able to see the books that they've read, how many minutes they've been reading, and their completion. By clicking on the Skills tab underneath their name, you're then able to see how they are doing in a variety of skills. You can expand each skill and see a standard that is related to each one and see how they are doing on their assessments as well. Any books that you assign to your students will appear for them in the top part of their bookshelf under the From Your Teacher section. Students can then click into the book that has been assigned to them. Begin their reading by clicking on the bright blue play button. Amphibians and reptiles. If an assigned book has assessment questions embedded within, the questions will appear on the page for the students and each question and each answer choice is read aloud. Students select their answer and click submit. And then a bookworm appears telling them thanks for answering and let's keep reading. You will get real time assessment results in your assessment tab. If you have any questions, contact customer care at 800-221-4792.